February 11th, 12th, and 13th, it's the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The sun's in Aquarius and the moon is in Scorpio. It's a square. Now, first of all, think about this. Aquarius has the ability to communicate and has the freedom to talk to anyone. They can talk to a wall. They can make friends with the neighbor. They're on the airplane chatting away. The moon in Scorpio is like, please don't make me talk. Don't go there to that superficial conversation makes them a little crazy. So that's what a square is. When there's two energies that exist inside of a human, one wants to be super social, wants to go play, and the other says we're staying home. And you might feel that split. There's four planets in air. It's been true all month. The sun, Mercury, Saturn, and Mars. This is really about studying astrology, I swear. Letting yourself understand the human nature impulses that makes us contrary. One part of you goes in one direction. Another part is contrary. And when you journal about it or you write about it or you go into therapy, this is why as an astrologer, I love therapy and astrology. Psychology will be a dinosaur science until it includes astrology. Because when you learn about the psychology of the psyche based on their chart, and you know they've got Moon and Scorpio and they've got a self-sabotager, the combination of Aquarius and Scorpio sabotages. And once you realize your awareness is on, this is the gift of astrology and thank you, Carl Jung, studying the unconscious, you get a vote and you're not being compelled. So if you wake up and you have this internal moon in Scorpio uncomfortability, don't be surprised. Mercury is conjunct Pluto. It's Mercury, the thought process combined with Pluto, the intensity. And then the moon's in Scorpio. And it's almost like I want to talk, but I don't now. Birthdays of February 11th, Jennifer Aniston, friends, Aquarians love friendship. Scorpio goes, don't bug me. That's a funny one. But Jennifer Aniston, who's a client of mine, found me on Instagram. What a beautiful representation she is of friendship. Welcome to Aquarius. And then we have wonderful Thomas Edison, who, Aquarius, found electricity. I love the story of Edison. He tried so many different experiments and they all went wrong. That's so Aquarian. How many things can go wrong before I find the right answer and be free about it and not be inhibited? So I'm going to ask you during this Aquarius Scorpio, there's an inner part of you that wants attention, Moon and Scorpio. All of us are going to feel it these few days. It can take you down. It can make you grumpy. It can make you edgy. It can make you short-tempered. It can make you feel highly emotional and even depressed. And then the question with all the air in the sky is, can we talk about it? Are we willing to be an experimenter and say that the human condition you're living with, whatever's going on in your psychology, is an exercise for you to see if you can make the unconscious conscious. That's why astrology and psychology are best friends. Because as soon as my awareness came on, said Deborah in my lifetime, and I realized my behaviors and my funny personality type, and I could talk about it, there became this lighthearted ease. And I want to give that to you. So come study astrology and figure out the psychology. Just know that astrology and psychology are best friends. Friends, Jennifer Aniston. Experiment, Thomas Edison. Don't give up. Even if you've done so much therapy, find an astrologer who knows astrology and start there. And they're on my site, Deborah Silverman Astrology. So Astrology answers wanted me to tell you. The moon's in Scorpio. Don't make it wrong. Have it as an invitation to go in and go deep.